in this video we shall learn how to convert a decimal number to fraction number now i haven't included this in the major sub concepts that seven sub concepts which i have listed in the beginning because this is a very small topic i would like to finish it independently and then we'll go to the actual concepts now how to convert a decimal to fraction suppose if i give you a decimal like 0.5 you can easily convert it by writing 5 by 10 which is 1 by 2 right suppose if i give you 0.25 still you have no problem you can write it as 25 by 100 which is 1 by 4 even if i give you 0.237 you can still write it as 237 divided by 1000 because three digits after the after the decimal point well you have no issue with these kind of decimals if you observe these are non-recurring and terminating decimals we have no problem with them now the problem actually arises if i take recurring and non-terminating decimals suppose if i take decimal like 0 0.333333 and recurring now what is the problem with this decimal if you see here there is only one digit recurring that is three now we do not know how many threes we have to write in the numerator and how many zeros we have to put in the denominator now what shall we do let us consider this as y is equals to 0 0.3333 now as i told you our problem is a recurring of the digit now if we can eliminate that we can easily convert it into a fraction let us see how to do that now after decimal point how many digits are recurring there is only one digit recurring that is three now bring the three to the left of the decimal point how can i do that by multiplying this equation with a 10 now what do i get if i multiply with 10 i'll get 10y is equals to 0 0.3333 into 10 is 33 3.33333 right now if i subtract the first equation from the second equation 10y minus y is a 9y 0 0.333 0 0.333 get cancelled so 3 minus 0 is 3 so we get y is equals to 3 by 9 which is nothing but 1 by 3 now what did we do we eliminated the recurring part so then we can easily convert this into fraction because i assumed y as 0 0.333 and we got y as 1 by 3 so 1 by 3 is the fraction value of 0 0.3333 let us take another example suppose if i consider a decimal 0 0.252525 so on again is it recurring decimal or not yes let us consider this as y is equals to 0 0.252525 now if you observe after decimal points how many digits are recurring only two they are two five bring them to the left of the decimal point how do we do that because two digits are recurring we have to bring them to the left of the decimal point we have to multiply with 100 what do we get 100 y is equals to 25.252525 so on now if i subtract the first equation from the second what do we get again 252525 get cancelled 100 y minus y that is 99 y that is equals to 25 so y is 25 by 99 so that has to be our final answer suppose if i take decimal something like this 0 point or let's say 8 point 5 6 5 6 5 6 so on now what is happening here well before the decimal point there is already one digit that is 8 well that is already a number or you can consider it as a fraction as well so you need not to bother about it what do we do we'll write it as 8 plus 0 point 5 6 5 6 5 6 now we shall convert only 0 point 5 6 5 6 5 6 what happens y is equals to 0 point 5 6 5 6 5 6 how many digits recurring two digits multiply with 100 what do we get 100 y is equals to 56.5656 so on if i subtract first equation from second 100 y minus y is 99 y that is equals to recurring part gets cancelled 
and I'll be left with 56. Now, y is equals to 56 by 99. Is this our final answer? No. What we have to do? This is the value of only 0 0.565656. So final answer will be 8 plus 56 by 99. So if you further simplify it, what do we get? 99 into 8. So that is uh, 792 plus 56 divided by 99. So, if you simplify this and write 792 plus 56 will be 800. And so, this is 92 means we should get 82 minus 8. That will be 84 divided by 99. That has to be our final answer. Should I really do all these things to convert a decimal into a fraction? No. Let me give you a much simpler method. Now, listen to this carefully. How many digits are occurring here? 1. Take it in the numerator. Divide it by. How many digits are recurring? Only 1. Put 1 9 in the denominator. Answer is 1 by 3. I am sure you are confused. Observe the second example. How many digits are recurring? 2. That is 25. Take it in the numerator. Divide it by. How many digits are recurring again? 2. Put 2 nines in the denominator. Same answer. Suppose if it is 0 0.352352 and so on. What can I do? How many digits are recurring here? 352. So write 352 in the numerator divided by 3 nines. Well, in this example, I can write 8 plus. What do I have here? 565656. Five, two digits in the numerator divided by two nines. Absolutely the same step. Well, you might be thinking, why did I waste your time in writing all these things instead of directly giving the shortcut? Well, I cannot directly give you the shortcut because if you ask me why I'm putting nine in the denominator, I cannot answer you. But now I can tell, if you observe here, I'm getting this nine from here, 10 y minus y. Here I'm putting directly 99. How I'm getting 100 y minus y. So what you have to understand here is first learn the concept. So once you understand the concept, you can derive the shortcuts on your own. Suppose if I give you a decimal something like this, 0 0.166666, what can we do? Let's see. Now, I'll consider this as y is equals to 0 0.1666. How many digits are recurring after decimal point? 1. That is 6. What do we do? We multiply with a 10. What do we get? 10y is equals to 1.666. Well, if I subtract the first equation from the second equation, can I cancel the recurring part here? Here, point 1.666 is there. Here, 0 0.666 is there. Can we cancel it? No. Well, our agenda in this method is to cancel the recurring part. But here, we are unable to cancel that. Why? Because there is a some extra digit 1, which is non-recurring in the decimal. We call them impure recurring decimals. Now, what happens when there is an impurity? We cannot cancel the recurring part. Now, what we have to do? What you can do is, Further multiply the same equation with 10 again. Now in the first step, we separated the non-recurring digit. That is 1. We brought it to the left of the decimal point. In the second step, check out how many digits are recurring. Only 1. That is 6. Now bring it to the left of the decimal point. Why? How? Again multiplying with a 10. So what happens? 10 into 10y is 100y. That is equals to this becomes 16.6666. Now what I can do is, subtract 10y from 100y. I'll get 90y. Now here, I 0 0.666, 0 0.666. Now we can eliminate the recurring decimal part. 16 minus 1 is 15. So we should get y is equals to 15 by 90, which is nothing but 1 by 6. So what happens when there is an impurity in the decimal, first separate that impurity. We call them 
impure recurring decimals first separate the impurity from the decimal and then deal with in a regular way how you dealt with the pure recurring decimals suppose if i take this example now i can write it as y is equals to 0 0.7 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, so on. Now, is there any impurity in this? Yes, that is 7. What do we do? First, separate the 7. To do that, we multiply with 10. What do we get? 10y is equals to 7.252525, so on. Now, after decimal point, it is completely pure recurring decimal. Now, how many digits are recurring? Two. What do we do? Multiply with 100. Now what do I get? I should get 100 into 10 is 1000y. That is equals to 725.252525 so on. Now let us subtract the first equation from the second. 100y minus 10y will be 990y. That is equals to recurring part gets cancelled. I have to subtract 7 from 725. That should give me 719. So what do we get? y is equals to 719 divided by 990. Now, is there any shortcut for this? Yes, of course we have. Let me give that as well. Now, first check out. After which digit it started recurring in the decimal? Can I say after 6? Yes. Till that point, take it in the numerator, 16. Now subtract the impurity. What is the impurity here? 1. That is the numerator divided by. Now, how many digits are recurring? Only one digit that is 6. For recurring digit, always put 9. Like in our previous examples. Now, how many impurities are there? Only 1. So put 1, 0. What do you get? 15 by 90, which is 1 by 6. Absolutely same answer. Let us try here. Now, first check. After which point the decimal has started recurring? Till here there is no recurring. So, till then take it in the numerator that is 725. Subtract the impurity. What is the impurity? 7. I will subtract it. That is our numerator divided by. How many impurities? How many recurring digits are there? 2. Put 2 nines. How many impurities? Only one impurity, 7. Put 1, 0. So that should give us 719 divided by 990. Again, same answer. Let us try directly with another example. Suppose if I take 0 0.582121. Now, pure recurring decimal or impure recurring decimal? Obviously, impure recurring decimal. What is the impurity? 58. Now, we did this recurring start here after this 2 1 till there take it in the numerator 5 8 2 1 what do we do subtract 58 that is impurity divided by how many recurring digits 2 that is uh, i forgot another one here in between i am sorry 2 1 2 1 2 1 so two recurring digits i'll put two nines how many impurities 2, 5 and 8. What do we do? Put two zeros. So, subtract it. What do we get? From 800, if I subtract 58, that will be 842, 863. 5863 divided by double nine, double zero. That has to be our final answer. This is how we can directly convert an impure recurring decimal into a fraction. So, if you want, you can further cancel this as well. To watch more free videos, download our LOL application from Play Stores. If you are benefited by these videos, please like and share our videos. And also do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of our new videos that we upload regularly. If you have any queries or suggestions, please drop them in the comment section below. Also, if you want to reach out to me or any of my team members, you can always do that through any of the social media platforms and the links of which are already provided in the description below.